Machine learning interviews are brutal. Endless topics to cover, multiple rounds, and uh, oh yeah, you probably have a life and a job to manage as well. So how do you prepare without driving yourself insane? Let me show you how. I wish I could say I have a perfect system for everyone. But after 14 years in tech as technical lead at Meta, Twitter, and Adobe, uh, interviewing hundreds of people at those companies, and then helping over 150 people land their dream ML jobs in 2024 alone, here's what I know. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. But there is a way to make your preparation more effective and efficient. So in this video, I'm going to help you understand what to expect, how to build a system that works for you, and give you my best time-saving tips to avoid wasted efforts. But first, let me ground us in a little bit of a reality check. In the comments from my last video, some of you told me to follow my sumo dreams and don't let anybody discourage you. Unfortunately, I have to admit that I've given up on being a sumo wrestler. Because I don't want to be just a sumo wrestler, I want to be the Yokozuna, an elite sumo champion. And here's the thing, the last step of that process is very much like an interview. I have to convince a special committee in a meeting two weeks from today that I'm qualified. Simple, right? First, I'd have to train for over a decade, reach the second highest rank, and win two major tournaments back to back against the best in the world. Now, if that sounds impossible, it's because it is for me. And similarly, if you're trying to become a principal engineer at Fang with just one hobby ML project to your name, I have to ask, how did you even get that interview? Interviewing for roles beyond your experience level is something no amount of preparation can fix. This is where realistic expectations come in. There are two things that you must be realistic about, level and time. Of those students I've worked with in 2024, only about 11% did not pass their interviews. And most of those came to me with less than two weeks to prepare. For most people, there's not enough magic in the world to cram everything you need to learn in that amount of time. If your interview is tomorrow, the best advice I can give you is to unplug and meditate. What you've got is what you've got. Cramming will most likely hurt, not help you. All right, imagine this. You're feeling unwell. So you go to see a doctor. You sit down, describe your symptoms, and here is what happens. Let's run an ECG, check your vitals, and go over your medical history. Don't worry, I've seen lots of this over my 20 year career. In the meantime, avoid strenuous exercise, uh, and I'll review your test results and get back to you with a plan in a couple of days. Sound good? Uh, uh, chest tightness, uh, okay, uh, okay. Um, did you drink water? Uh, it could be, could be the headache. Oh no, you know what? This could be something really serious. This could be, um, <laughs> uh, uh, um uh, maybe just Google it. <laughs> Pretty obvious, right? You'd go with Dr. A every time. And yet I've seen candidates at top tech companies present themselves like the second doctor. Unsure, underprepared, and unable to convey any competence at all. Interviewers are looking for confidence that you can handle the problems they're hiring you to solve. And if you can't communicate clearly and justify your decisions, it won't matter how smart you are. For example, at Meta, when I was an E6 staff engineer, one of my biggest responsibilities was weighing multiple solutions and making the best choice possible. Yet in mock interviews, candidate after candidate often just declare this is the right solution without providing any justification or understanding the trade-offs of what they're talking about. Understanding the job and matching your responses to expectation, but not of the interview of day one on the job is crucial here. So how do you build a system that works for you? Here are a few steps. Understand what you'll be asked. Take an honest inventory of your strengths and weaknesses. Simulate the environment early with practice. Focus on your weaknesses and maybe get validation. Let's take a look at each of those steps. ML interviews typically have multiple rounds, which can include lead code style, uh, data structures and algorithms, ML system design, ML fundamentals, ML coding, behavioral questions, project deep dive, system design, leadership but not every job will require all of those rounds. Talk to your recruiter and figure out what's relevant to your role. Also, try to badge interviews efficiently. 
So you're not preparing for completely different rounds for completely different companies with wildly different requirements all at once. This is a good way to burn yourself out. Understanding the rounds is one thing, but understanding what they actually require is another. For example, the dreaded lead code round. To ace this, you need to be good at pattern recognition. It's a slow skill to build and deteriorates really quickly. You have to start this one early and practice regularly. So that this video doesn't get out of hand, I've included the link in the description with the blog post where I outline my best tips to prepare for this round. For the behavioral round, on the other hand, you need to prepare closer to your interview date. Outside feedback is key here, but you don't need to rehearse old stories three months in advance of your interview. The importance of each round varies by level. Step two is to take an honest inventory. People fall on both extremes here. Too pessimistic, I need to study everything equally, and too optimistic, eh, if I just review it a day before, I'm gonna be good for the interview. To help you truly assess it, ask yourself, how have you done the last time you're interviewed? Has it been a while since you touched code? Have you ever designed a scaled ML system? Honesty is the best policy here. You're only cheating yourself. Rate yourself on a three point scale. From zero, I need to cancel the interview now. I'm never gonna be ready. To three, I can walk in and ace it now. I think the scores should mostly be one and two. I do not recommend not preparing for a round. Any failure in any round is total failure for the whole interview. You cannot get the job if you fail even one round. Step three is practice. For every round type, I recommend doing a mock interview early. This is part of being honest with yourself. You really need outside feedback. It can be with a trusted peer or someone who does this professionally. If it is a peer, however, I would recommend that you don't go outside of plus one or minus one level because it's really hard to help people once they're two or three levels uh, different from you. People try to be really ready for a mock, but usually this wastes a lot of time studying the wrong things. It is much easier to diagnose what you need from the outside. Trust me, as someone who does three to four mocks per day nowadays, let me assure you that no one has ever failed a mock with me or anybody else. Mocks are not there to get you. What's important is that you get exposure to the real environment, as real as you can. Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Get punched in the mouth early and on purpose. It is uncomfortable but it is the best thing you will do for your prep. For behavioral and leadership rounds, you can utilize somebody outside of tech entirely. But technical rounds require technical people. Step four, you need to ruthlessly prioritize your time. Anyone can clear any interview given infinite amount of time, but no one has infinite time. Be deliberate and don't keep rehashing things you can answer with your eyes closed already. This is where you put your study plan into action. Start lead code early. Practice daily. On week X, review this ML system design problem type. On week Y, come up with stories for behavioral. This step is 90% of your time in preparation. Remember, Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time available. I see so many people scheduling their interviews six months out and procrastinate until the day of. Step five is optional but it's worth doing another round of mocks if you want to be sure you're ready. If you're prone to uh, feeling the imposter syndrome, this can help. If you're more confident in assessing yourself, you might not need this step at all. Before I give you these tips for ML interviews, I want to let you know about my new program. You'll work directly with me, no TAs, to develop a personalized plan and get weekly one-on-one -on -one mocks and feedback directly from me. As I am subject to having only 24 hours in a day, working on it, the spaces are limited. If you're serious about your preparation for machine learning engineering interviews up to principal engineer, check it out at the link below. Number one tool that I recommend you use is a cheat sheet. Nope, I'm not telling you to cheat. <laughs> I'm encouraging you to make a one page diagram of main concepts for each round. Because in making the diagram, you will learn the material deeper and allow yourself a tool for easy review the day of the interview. Then again, remember that you're dealing with people. There will be imperfections and those can often be overcome. At Meta, for example, to get the highest possible score on the lead code question, 
you only need to address about 80% of edge cases. That's a high bar, but it's not 100%. In ML system design, a suboptimal solution is often enough if your justification is good. And I sincerely apologize for it given the title of this video. While you can ace your interview every time, it will not result in a job offer every time. The candidate you are up against could have aced their interview as well. Or they can be the boss's neighbor. Or, and I have done this, the hiring manager may just not want to bring you in dysfunctional organization. There's so many things that are entirely outside of your control for any one position. This video and everything I do is about doing the best on the things that are within your control. For example, can you design a YouTube recommender systems, machine learning guts in 30 minutes? See how I take on that challenge in this video over here.